Hey everyone. I um I've had an interesting experience the last, you know, day or so. And I think I'm starting to kind of formulate what is happening in my uh in, in the kind of energetic level of this. And basically this is something I find myself saying it over and over again in my lessons. And I've also, and, and then, you know, so it's like both kind of like something that I'm saying frequently. And so that always registers for me as, oh, well, if it's something I'm saying a lot, might be something I need to hear. And uh, there's a kind of energetic dynamic to it, that I'll, so I'll explain in a minute. And then there's also a way in which this is kind of, something that's playing out in my life. And, you know, what I'm kind of talking about is I'm, I've been saying frequently in my lessons that there's a kind of expansion and contraction to our practice on piano, right? And now with a Qigong practice, which is something that I've been pretty regular about recently, that's also a major component of that, obviously. And in Qigong, there's a kind of very explicit expansion and contraction to many of the many of the moves, many of the sequences. That's really the essence of a lot of Qigong is that sort of energetic dynamic of expansion and contraction, letting the kind of healthy rhythm of the body and the energetic system move, letting all the fluid systems of the body move, letting all of the uh, circulatory and, and breath systems of the body, energy systems, everything breathes and everything moves, everything expands and contracts. And I talk about this in my lessons um, with regard to our focus, because you know, piano can get so micro, you can really kind of chisel down to like the small, smallest details. And really what it, what it ends up feeling like is that our focus is contracting. Our focus, the lens of our focus, we're going sort of down to like microscope level into a really, really small uh, minutia kind of perspective. And what I keep saying in my lessons is we need both. We need to we have to contract. You can't really play piano with any precision without doing that work. But we also want to expand. We also want to breathe in and let our bodies get involved. Remember that we have a body. As we put our awareness all the way down into like the micro micro of our fingertips and you know some sort of like really intricate passage work on piano, we also want to then come back and realize I have a chest, I have legs, I have a belly, I have a body, you know, like just be in touch, just let our awareness come back to that because ultimately it's it's the mo it's the whole thing that needs to be able to operate well and that needs, you know, it takes the it takes the in breath of the whole system to be able to go into the micro in that way and something that I also keep saying in my lessons is as the the, the more we're willing to kind of lean into one aspect of that with focus, whether it's the micro or the macro, the out breath or the in breath, the more we actually extend the range of both polarities. We're actually expanding our capacity for both anytime we really kind of break new ground in one of them. Now, oftentimes in our culture, in our society, and on piano, we're, we can get overly fixated on the micro. We can get overly fixated on the contraction side of the coin. And I think that that's um, that's partly the, that's partly the, uh, you know, at the root of why piano training sort of w is the way it is. And, and it's something that I'm trying to really consciously engage with in my own work and, and sort of like bring a little bit more balance to that. But there's a whole way in which this principle also applies to my entire life. And it applies to the way that I'm creating this piano course. And it applies to the way that I approach every lesson that I teach. There's a kind of macro level on which this is also true. And remembering that has been kind of key for me in the last couple of days. It's just been coming through and I've found like, found myself, um, again, saying it out loud a lot and therefore kind of sensing, oh, I really kind of, this is something that that, that is relevant for me right now. And, um, you know, some of the constriction that I'm feeling, you know, this is obviously also an energetic dynamic that's going to be true of my business and 
you know, as I, as I say that, I sort of realize <clears throat> there's a level of both micro and macro, really, on the business side of things. There's a micro and a macro that I could really be leaning into and kind of figuring out how, how, where, how, how I can focus that lens even more. So that's what's coming through today. Um, oh, and I'm getting greeted by my daughter. Annalise. Oh, I'm making a video post. You want to say hello and bye bye? Hello, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, everyone. I love you. Go to outside.